Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's actually later in the afternoon. Uh, Sam and the girls and I were away almost all day. We're just getting home now. But man, it is scorching. Hey, is it supposed to be cold after this big rain? So um, we're expecting three days of rain, guys. It's supposed to be like torrential rain, big huge storm. I love a good rainstorm. Sophie doing sign language to her puppy, her doggy. She puts her head down and it's like, mm, get it. Yeah, it's funny how like you can just point. You don't even have to say a word. So the Sam took the horse trailer in, told them it had to be ready by Friday because we have a horse show this weekend. And he went there yesterday and hadn't even been touched yet. What? So we went there so again today. We went today, talked to them. It looks, they're working on it quick. But then I said, don't worry about it. They don't need it this week anyways. Yeah. But they fixed it up. Looks good. They've yeah. got to fix some other stuff that I wanted to get done. So uh, they told him that our trailer is in really good shape. Yeah, it's in really good shape. So so it's because he maintains it like crazy. He maintains all of our vehicles like crazy. Like this summer, every single car has been into the shop. His truck yeah. is going back and my van is going back. And it's only been like <laughs> a couple of weeks. Yeah. So he, he maintains everything really good so that we're all safe and the horses are safe. But yeah, I love that. That stick is pretty big for you, little Missy. Whatever. This is why kids can't be gardeners, you guys. Sophie is dying to pick the carrots. They're not ready. We picked them today. We picked a couple last night, and now she's addicted to it. She's like, oh, and the, and the horses loved them last night. We should wash them. Look at she knows Sophie's over here. She she was just pacing over here, looking at Sophie, pacing. She needs to see Sophie. No matter how many times I think I've got every single cucumber from here, I find more. That one I can leave, but this one is done but every time i think i've got them all i look and there's so many more and there are a bunch more they're just tiny like this one right here so i'm gonna leave these they're gonna grow a bit more <laughs> yeah so That's the so thing awesome. about our carrots is that the horses love that green stuff yeah let's go wash them Come on. yeah there we go so those are the carrots. Um, so you can tell when carrots are done because the, this part flops over, but we didn't wait. We can never wait. Sophie can never wait. Look at this one. That's why kids are never good gardeners. But you know what? Little baby carrots are yummy. And we didn't thin them the way we were supposed to. You're making more next year. I just want to bring all this stuff in that I picked yesterday before the rain comes because it's going to start raining at midnight. But look at that. That's like a beautiful bounty. Mmm, these carrots actually taste so good. They, they are so good. Mmm, love them. Trouble. Next year I'll plant them earlier too. They're still yummy though. Okay. So my friend told me that she, so my friend has a new puppy from last year, so it's a year old. And her dog, doesn't run around in her horse field like she doesn't let it run free at the barn because it still doesn't know its way around the horses and that's like some of our fork dogs aren't good with the horses and some of them are great some of them are okay all right pen it's a baby carrot she had one last night and loved it uh oh your baby's there yeah so you like it here have mine me. Those are fresh from the garden. Sophie made me plant those just for you guys. Can you tell what Penny did to me this morning? No, she didn't let you put on her she fly mask? Yeah, she didn't let me put on her fly Aww. mask. Aww. <laughs> Poor girl. You don't like your fly mask. I know, you do, but you didn't want me to put it on this morning for some reason. Poor girl. There you go. Okay now, I don't have any more treats for you. 
kissy horse. I hate you. Every single one of my pets kisses. Kirby, you want to kiss them? <laughs> you like the puppy Storm? Storm loves little things. He loves Ellie, he loves Kirby, he loves Molly, he loves all the dogs. Lady is good, actually not bad with the, the dogs. She tries to bite them. She'll try and bite them if she gets bored. <laughs> Molly's like super brave. See, behind a fence, she'll be like, oh, I can guard you, I can herd you, but when she goes out there, she would never, she stays away from them, she's really good. She's really good about staying away and making sure she doesn't get under their feet. Same with Ellie, and the same with the puppy. And then the other two are so terrified, it's not even worth it because you're just watching them the whole time. Oh, you just stepped on that pony. You want to Sophie, are you eating all those carrots? No. They love the leaves. He's picky and he eats leaves, hi. I know, sometimes when I go to the grocery store, I'll buy carrots with the green stuff on it just for our pets. You know what, she just stepped on your other horse. You gotta check her ankle. Really? Yeah, she just actually stepped right on her ankle. Like she moved as soon as she felt it under her, but still, you should check her. To be honest, I don't know if the show's gonna get canceled. Like we're not going, obviously, but, um, cause now we have no trailer. <laughs> and a lost shoe. Oh, I should tell you guys before he does this. Oh, Sam's grandpa, he was really close with his grandpa. His grandpa is like shorter than Brooklyn. He's like four foot two, maybe. And Sam was this big, huge, monstrous kid and his grandpa would like carry him on his back all over town and I don't know how he did it, but Sam was really close with him. I don't even know how I stayed on his back. So. <laughs> yeah, your feet were probably dragging on the ground. Pretty big, like we used to go walk in through parks and instead of me going through the creek, he wanted me to hop on his back so he can walk me through a creek. I mean, it's crazy, but anyway. That's I'm love, you guys. Something my grandfather <laughs> showed me how to do when I was younger. Uh, you just go to your garden if you're growing pumpkins or zucchini or whatever you're growing look for these plants you're just gonna take one of these green plants here cut it off scrape off all the prickly stuff because you don't want the prickly stuff yeah oh this one's bad because it's got a hole but i'm gonna try it anyway and then you cut off the end these are actually hollow but you don't want it you don't want to Make sure you don't cut it so that it's hollow all the way through, but it's hollow all the way through. Then the end, and then you just cut a slit. And then you can toot your own horn. The first musical instrument, you guys. That's the Italian horn. <laughs> the dogs are like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I mean, if you had bigger plants, you'd get better sound results. But... This one has a hole in it, so. Wow, that worked really good. He just shot this with Gabby on his phone. <laughs> and uh, this one works really good because it's got a hole in it, so you can make different sounds. If you put different holes in it too, you can make you can make uh, other sounds. Let's see, put another hole in there. That is actually cool. <laughs> I love it. Honestly, I just love the ducks. Are they so cute? I think they found the garden. See how they walk? They're so symmetrical. Synchronized, synchronized ducking, how they walk. It actually sounds so cool. What did Gabby say? She just laughed at me. Sim and I are gonna go and get dinner on Friday nights, most Friday nights. We like to eat out or we like to go pick up dinner usually. Friday nights we usually have stuff that we're gonna do like with family and friends. And so we like to just get dinner over with quick. Yep, those chickens are in my garden. They discovered my garden. So they can have it now, it's almost finished. But anyways, I wanted to tell you guys I read probably around eight books this summer. And I just finished another one. So I just finished this one right here called Charlotte. I just finished this one last night called Charlotte and I it is so good. It was so good. I loved it, but this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Ellie. I always tell you guys how like I'm super Ellie. in tune. Ellie, Ellie. Ellie's trying to come with me. 
I'm super in tune to like my body and to how I feel about things oh, and to my, oh, even the ducks are in the garden. Anyways, I was 15 years old. Like I've read all my life. I used to read like a book yeah. every single yeah. night. Like I'd start at nine, Ali finish Ali. at 11 and go to bed. And that was like on top of my homework. But I Ali. have been an avid reader my whole entire life. Like obsessed with books. Ellie, go in the house. And my dog and my horse don't listen to Sam. I didn't train them to do that. They yeah, just you don't. Put your dog away. <sighs> come on. Uh, let me give you some motivational music. Hey, Ellie, come on. Uh, Sam's still playing with his horn, tooting his own horn. Anyways, um, so I read this book, and when I was 15, and it was about this young girl who went to get ice cream with her boyfriend every single week or whatever, and she had this boyfriend. She's 15 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my life, you guys. Welcome to my life. Anyways, so when the main character of this book, her name was Gabriella, and it was way back. Like, it was a lot of years ago. It was like, I was 15, and I'm like 55 now. And there's this girl in the book, the heroine, or the, the main character in the book was called Gabriella. And every single time... Every day, though. Every single time I read her name, like, Every single time I read her name, I get this weird feeling come over me and like I feel overwhelmed. And back then and all the popular names were totally different. Like nobody was named Gabriella. Like it just that wasn't a popular name. And I, I had no idea when I was 15 that one day I would have a baby and I would name her Gabriella. But every time I read that name when I was 15, I would get like goosebumps. I'd feel overwhelmed. I'd like feel like crying I feel like I just had so much emotion so last night I finished that book and the two main so one of the main characters name was Bridger and I had the exact same feeling again like every time I read the name Bridger it's not a, a name that's super common but every time I read, read the name Bridger I would like feel overwhelmed I like would tear up I would like have all these emotions it's like the name Bridger they're just means something to my spirit that I don't even know what it means but I have that same feeling so I want to tell you guys now put it down on the vlog so that if a Bridger ever shows up in our life you guys can all be like it's Bridger <laughs> but I also had a feeling about the name Charlotte but not as strong of a reaction as I had to Bridger but I honestly believe that God has everything completely planned out for your life nothing is left to chance nothing is happens by accident and because God knows all of that in your spirit I believe that we know everything that's going to happen to us in our spirit but obviously we can't access our spirit we're just our personality here on life here on earth um, but I believe that there's going to be a Bridger in our life Sam you think there's going to be a Bridger do you like do you like the name Bridger I just was tearing up reading that name but I got the goosebumps and and I just kept staring at it the exact same way that I did when I would read the name Gabriella. Anyway, we're going to go get dinner and then we're going to go back and put the animals to bed and see you guys then. This little chicken right here is brave. Brave as heck. So we finished one of our watermelons. Sam's been buying watermelon like crazy. Oops. So... <laughs> we brought you watermelon. Oh, look. Here, give this one to the ducks. Alright, so every night before we go down and put the goats away, go let them out. We let the chickens out. And it's always wild. And the wildest of them all are the dang turkeys. Here they come. I know I showed you this already, but it never gets old. Never gets old. My favorite are the turkeys. But those turkeys have gotten so brave, they come over and they grab things right out of your hands. And here we go. <laughs> Hi. They, just wait. They've gotten like so bad, he'll peck me. Watch, he'll, they look because they want food without having to compete with the other chickens. Yeah, she'll like, they, they're looking, she's looking. But they actually come over and they peck me now. And it's actually not that fun. Oh, there's the other turkey. Me, those are not for you. I said to Sophie, it's like Halloween. Every time 
every time I let the turkey, every time I let the chickens out and I come outside, they always meet me at the door. It's like Halloween. They're out here trick or treating. And they're really picky too. They don't just like vegetables and fruit. They want junk. They're like kids. And then there's the guineas. I don't know where she came from. Kind of turned me upside down. I just don't know what to do. I want to spend the night at hers. And bring her one of my t-shirts. So it smells like her perfume. Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel, scream it out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile One of the hard parts about goats with horses, you have like a big, huge water trough and it lasts at least two days. And then you fill it, clean it, and fill it and add more water. Goats need fresh water twice a day. And pigs need water, fresh, fresh water twice a day. So we have like the electric waterers out there, but they're hard to clean. So I always give them fresh water in the morning. And then I always give them fresh water when they come in at night. So it's a lot. But Sophie and I are like a well-oiled machine, man. When we come down at night, Sophie, do, I do the pigs, Sophie does the goats, and it's so good. And then we split up the water because you have to do one, two, three, four, five, six things of water. The turkeys have, have made it almost to the horse barn, you guys. I just don't think that will be a good fit. It's actually amazing to me how when spring happened and I had Posey, I was bringing her outside. <laughs> Sophie's carrying the turkey. I was bringing her outside every day and I couldn't get her in a leash anymore because you'd freak out and I had to try and like manhandle her and lift her everywhere I needed her to go. And it was so hard and now... The ducks came to help her? They're in my garden. But now I just come out at night to put Posey in bed and she's always there. Okay, you ready? There you go. Look at the ducks. I love the ducks. I know. Oh, like, let's go now. I love the little girl. She is so stinking cute. Anyway, that is it for today's video. It is supposed to rain for three days straight. I'm excited. I don't know. I, I just, I love everything now. Oh, she's back with her boyfriend. I do not know what happened to me. I used to like complain. All the, you guys know. I used to be a huge complainer. Now I just love everything. I love the rain. I love the mud. I love the sun. I love the heat. I love it all. I love the chickens and the ducks and the turkeys. Look, Halloween. See, they just sit there and stare at the door all night long. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. She's getting ready because she thinks that I'm going to sit in that chair, which is what I do every single night. So she thinks she's going to jump on my back. But anyway, that is it for today's video. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We have super fun plans. Won't be a horse show. Because, unfortunately, our horse lost a shoe and our farrier is away. And it's supposed to rain for three days straight. But anyway, that is it for today. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Go home! Go find your own home! It's not Halloween! Don't you know that you're beautiful?